Hello and welcome to Shoreline Music Monthly. My name is Mark Koshwitz and this is episode 88 of our series where we bring you the best singer-songwriters in the Connecticut area. Um, it's occurred to me that, you know, I haven't mentioned and I, I was actually kind of enjoying the vibe when I came in today. I don't mention our mothership often enough. This, this show is taped at VSC TV Studios in Westbrook, Connecticut. Uh, it's a nonprofit uh, enterprise that, that brings you um, public government educational programming uh, taped right in here and, and sometimes brought in from other stations nearby. And it's staffed. Um, there are people who actually work here, but the bulk of the folks that do a lot of the work here, especially on my show, are volunteers who just come in to help. Um, and I just wanted to just, I guess, take a moment to acknowledge that and uh, express my gratitude for that. It's a, it's a wonderful thing. We're, we're heading into year 11. Actually, we're rolling through year 11. Um, the station opened in 2013. This show started just a couple months after that. And we've been, uh, I've been treated very well here. And they've brought you all this wonderful content. And I just thought it'd be nice to just, just take a moment before we get started to, to mention that, that um, there is a, a voice if you're, if you're a local, um, they will train you. You can make your own show. You could come in, you could help on the show. Um, there's lots of other shows that are taped in here and always looking for hands on deck. So um, just thanks to VSC TV for providing this conduit for us. Uh, I'm very, very happy to have a gentleman in the studio, the VSC TV studio with me today, uh, Cameron Sutphin. And uh, welcome to Westbrook, my friend. Thanks. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Um, for, I guess, the easiest thing to do is if you would perhaps maybe walk me through what, um, when music grabbed you. Um, how long have you been doing this thing? Because you're a singer, songwriter. Um, play around about. I was catching little clips of you. You were with our friend Dot yesterday. Yes, I was. Yep, um, Dot Ames. Yep. Um, so I, um, I got a, a guitar for Christmas in eighth grade and then started playing and writing and I'm 31 now. Um, so that's a few years. Yep, a few <laughs> years. But um, I grew up, um, I grew up going to a folk mass at a Holy Family Catholic Church in uh, Enfield, Connecticut. And um, they would, you know, play all the hymns, but then every now and then they throw in like a Peter, Paul, and Mary song. And so that's how I got into that. So I got into folk music. Very cool. I actually remember my, my mom bringing me to one in, in Milford, uh, Connecticut, when I was younger. Um, I remember thinking it was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, so that was, that was what, what uh, initially lit the fuse? Yep. And then my mom uh, got me um, Peter, Paul, and Mary's... Um, VHS tape, that's how long ago it was, of their children's concert where they did This Land Is Your Land, Leaving a Jet Plane If I Had a Hammer. And then from there it was into like Kathy Matea, country music. Nice. Now, uh, was there music in the house? Did uh, your folks listen or play? Or? Yeah, my mom, my mom listened to um, Kathy Matea, Billy Joel, Elton John, and then my dad listened to a lot of Neil Young. Nice. And so for right from the jump you kind of started writing? Um, yeah, I started writing in eighth grade. They weren't very good, but I tried. But you finished them, right? I mean, yeah, I finished right? them. There you go. Because um, you're, you're now, um, I, just a couple months ago, you, you just released an album, June, right? Yep, June 4th, part of me. So that's 10 tracks. So that's my first uh, full-length album. Uh, seven years ago, when I lived in Nashville, Tennessee, I put out a three-track album called Heartbreak Town, and that's a country album that I made in Nashville. Okay. So how, um, how did you find the, re the recording um, change over those years? If well, in, when I made uh, Heartbreak Town in Nashville, I had never been in a studio before. All the albums prior to that I had done in my room with like a four-track recorder. <laughs> attempting to make it sound good by myself. So when I went to Nashville, I met a guy who became my roommate, Ashton Lee, and he ended up producing the record. And he had gone to school in Asheville, North Carolina for music. And um, at that college, they had a studio. So he knew 
what to do in a studio because that was part of the curriculum was you go in and you'd sing lead, you'd sing backup, you'd do rhythm guitar, lead guitar. Mm. Now did, did you, were you pursuing, pursuing music when you traveled to Nashville or was it just a move? Um, yeah, yeah, I went there. Yeah, I went there to be a songwriter. Specifically, I went to there be... to be a songwriter, and then I knew that um, I could, you know, try to go make an album down there. Yeah, that's that's an amazingly rich area. <laughs> it is, and the ten track I just put out, I made in New Hampshire, a place called Rocking Horse Studio, for a lot less money because it's not Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that that's true. And uh, what brought you up that way, just? shopping studios or did, um, were you living up there? I was living up there so I did three years in Nashville and then I'm from uh, Connecticut originally. I'm from Enfield, Connecticut. That's where I live now with my wife and um, when I got tired of Nashville I um, called up a friend of mine named Mary who sings on the new record and we've been friends for 20 years. We're like brother and sister and I said to her, I said, I'm done with Nashville. Uh, I'm thinking of leaving, going back to New England. I'm thinking Vermont. And her response was, don't go there, the taxes are too high, go to New Hampshire with me and we'll be roommates and we can play music together. Oh, that's sweet. And um, so we did that for uh, five years uh, till I got married last month. And that brought you back to Connecticut? Yep, she lived, yep, she lived in uh, East Hartford and now we live in Enfield, Connecticut. Fair enough. Well, congratulations. Being, thank you. For the time <laughs> being, we live in Connecticut. Nice. So are we thinking of Nashville again? or no, 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 no. I did my time there. And okay. No, either probably Massachusetts or New Hampshire, but it'll be, it'll be New England. We'll be in New England. New England I, I absolutely love it in New England. Always yeah. have, always will. From a distance, that's how it's been For six months now, who knows when this ends Can't hold my son or my grandkids All I get is a window visit They told me if I hug them I might get sick and die But right now I give my life To hold them one more time Don't know how I'm Gonna make it through This is lonesome like I never knew They can't tell me When I can kiss my son They just tell me To be strong But it gets lonelier every day I don't see anyone's face I don't mind risking my life To hold my family one more time From a distance, that's how it's been For a year now, who knows when this ends Can't hold my son or my grandkids How am I supposed to live like this?
you were with uh, Dot Ames yesterday on uh, WCNI. Yep. Uh, how did that, how'd that go? Oh, that was great. I hadn't been on her show since 2019. Okay. Did a bunch of radio in 2019 in January because that was my first tour doing, you know, coffee shops and libraries um, when I moved back. So I went all the local shows like, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Come out, come out to a show. I'm back. Yeah, that's, a, that's another local treasure. She's got a... She's actually, I had her come on here and, and talk about what she does because she she's a, shines a light on a lot of local musicians in, in that regard, which is, is pretty awesome. Oh yeah, she's been, she's been great to me over the years and played my music on her radio station, which I appreciate a lot. Mm -hmm. Now, if we could just talk just for a second or two about um, writing. Sure. Because um, you've been doing that a while, where, where do we, do we, are you more like an autobiographical writer? Do you, I mean, where does? Yeah, um, it's, it's, it's generally autobiographical or, um, it's, or it'll be stories from people I know. Um, so like the first song on the new record is a song called John Henry. It's about coal mining and it's not necessarily my take on it, but um, my roommate in Nashville, um, the guy I mentioned, Ashton Lee, he grew up in West Virginia. He was not a fan of coal mining. And so I decided I wanted a John Henry song being a folk singer, and then I would write it from his perspective on his thoughts about it. And people say, that's your exact thoughts. I go, no, it's not my exact thoughts, but it's his thoughts. And I right, just made right. a character. Um, it's the same thing. There's a band called, I like, called August Anna, and their lead singer wrote a song called Driveway, and it's about a couple getting a divorce. And in an interview, the interviewer said to him, I'm so sorry about your divorce. He said, I didn't get a divorce. My buddy did. That's and a song. We, and we, we had a conversation about him going through it. And then when I got off the phone, I wrote the song that night. So we're kind of just taking things that come through your yeah, life. Yeah, personal and life or stories I pick up. Very cool. So we just finished, you just released this one in June. Yep. So... Um, are we uh, just taking them out on the road? Yeah, around? yeah, I'm doing. Um, yeah, I'm doing. I'm doing some shows locally in New England. I'm doing. Some would uh, how would people find you if they wanted to? It's they, uh, they like what they hear on this yep. show and they want to track you down. It's Cameron Sutphin Music on Facebook and Instagram, and the tour dates are up there. Okay. And then right. they'll, there, there's going to be a website at the end of the year, but right now it's just social media. Social media gets it done. Yep. I mean this. Um, our little Facebook page has just exploded because we started putting out a weekend guide to help people find people playing, which we'll certainly, whenever you're in our little area, we'll certainly be adding you to the, to oh, the mix. Um, so social media, get it done. So that's uh, Cameron Sutfin on your Instagram and Facebook? Yep, and uh, that's, where, that's where all the dates are listed. All right. And we put new, I put new ones up every month. Excellent. <laughs> Hammer in his hand 
But it'll take more than that to rid coal from this land. The air in the mountains ain't clean. The air in the mountains ain't clean. And you can't beat a steam drill if you can't breathe. The air in the mountains ain't clean. John Henry was a steel driving man. John Henry was a steel driving man. He never worked for coal cause they tortured the land. John Henry was a steel driving man. John Henry was a steel driving man. All right, thank you for watching, folks. I am still here um, with Cameron uh, Sutfin, and he has agreed to play From the Hip with me. Um, so we're going to get it right rolling with, we're now actually heading out of what I like to consider roller coaster season. Um, as the, so I can't believe we're already halfway through August. Yeah. Um, yes or no? Roller coasters? No. We on them? No. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, Scared of heights. No? Well, that would keep you off the coasters for sure. Um, do you remember um, the first music that you bought yourself with your own money? Not a gift, not found under the tree or anything, but something that you no, went down. No, I don't. You had no idea. I know the first CD I got, but it was a gift. Okay. That, well, you know what? That's okay, too. Um, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Oh, mint chocolate chip. All right. Yeah, you get along with my wife, Wendy. Um, that is also hers. Now, in crafting your songs, your style, who would you say, as a songwriter, has been most influential nationally a songwriter? Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan is... Yeah, yep. you can't go wrong with Bobby. <laughs> yeah. And how many, how many states have you lived in? I've lived in three. Okay, the three that we have run through, the New Hampshire, yes. uh, Tennessee, yep. and Connecticut. Yep. Okay. And Connecticut's your favorite right now, right? Currently, yes. Uh, <laughs> mainly because my wife lives here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you don't want to miss that. Um, how many instruments do you play? Um, I play two. So I play guitar and I play a bit of harmonica. Okay. And sing? We, yep, count, and we sing. count voice. Yep. We okay, count so voice be here. Because yep. a friend of mine, Greg Sherrod, amazing singer. He will not, he will, if I do not consider voice an instrument, I will get my, well, anyway. Um. <laughs> then we'll count voice. That's three. And, um, there's a dessert food in the world that most people like, and I, I'm not sold on it, but I, so I, I just always ask anybody. Cannolis? Oh, no, no. Okay, good I'm man. All right, so there's, there, is, there is still some people who dislike the cannoli. Um, what would you say your favorite place that you've been, doesn't have to be local to Connecticut, uh, your favorite venue to see a live show? Um, the Iron Horse in Northampton. Okay. And they just restarted that this year. They had a new owner. Have you been since they reopened? I have not, no. I plan on going. Um, uh, they just reopened in July, and I was getting married in July, so I was busy. But I plan on going hopefully September, October. There's some good shows coming up. Okay. Anybody I should look for? Oh, man, I forget who's coming. I know there was a group called the Secret Sisters. They're coming this okay. week. Okay, I have seen them. Yeah. yeah. I can't make it because I'm playing too. <laughs> Different town. Well, that you know that is that is one of the hardships of being a gigging musician is that there's gigs you can't go to because you're already doing your thing. Yes. All right. Well, thank you very much for playing from the hip with me. Sure. Thanks. Drive and drive, don't you ever sleep? 
counting down the exit signs Like promises you can't keep Like promises you can't keep Drive and drive, watch the night turn into day As long as you keep moving You won't feel the pain, no, you won't feel the pain Further along, there's a new place to go You burn through your life, watch it go up in smoke but there's always a new road So you just drive and drive and drive Drive in round that New York City town Like a desperado You'll never settle down You'll never settle down You sing your song Pick your guitar, burn both ends of the candle Like you don't care if you fall Like you don't care if you fall Further along, there's a new place to go You burn through your life, watch it go up in smoke But there's always a new road So you just drive and drive and drive Further along there's a new place to go you burn through your life, watch it go up in smoke But there's always a new road So you just drive and drive and drive Drive and drive Don't you ever sleep Counting down the exit signs Like promises you can't keep Like promises you can't keep like promises you can't keep thank you all once again for watching um, we will be back next month with yet another guest uh, just remember, these folks are out there playing. Um, yeah, take a fly on one, maybe, maybe a name you don't even know. You may enjoy it. You may find a new favorite. Um, just remember, you are the local in the local music scene, so please get out there and see a show. And we'll see you next month. Thanks. <laughs>